<laughs> we had phones. I'm not that old. I mean, we had phones, right, when I was little. They weighed 765 pounds. <laughs> they were stapled to the kitchen wall. And if they fell on you, they would kill you. <laughs> you can throw a phone at someone now. It'll just bounce off their chest and topple harmlessly to the ground. If it's an iPhone, it'll pour itself a beer and fart on the way down. <laughs> or some other douchebag app that you downloaded in lieu of having a personality. <laughs> We're familiar with the idea of a personal communication device that you carried with you that worked under any circumstances. Mr. Spock, on the old Star Trek program, had a communicator that he carried with him that worked under any circumstances, even during an ion storm on Rigel 5. Thank you for remembering Rigel 5, the three people who do. <laughs> Mr. Spock would take out the communicator and go, Burp, Spock to Enterprise, and the Enterprise would go, Enterprise here. Kaboom. It always worked. It never failed. Technology was triumphant. You knew it was 400 years in the future. You knew it was 400 years from now because Mr. Spock never went like this. Spock to Enterprise. Burp. Cheap Rogers wireless piece of Klingon junk. I can't believe that. 